It was really after I graduated when I began working more with unfired clay and uh, really at that time I only had kind of bags of raw material so I had to really reduce the work down to what was most important and I kind of found this way of working that I could take the clay to a particular place and build the work directly there and that really opened up for me what was possible in terms of what I could make and I like the direct relationship that came between the object, the material and the place as well. The kind of raw material is very much a part of the work anyway and kind of exploring all those qualities that clay has before it's fired and becomes ceramic when it's, I suppose at that point for me it's much more static and permanent whereas the clay itself is much more alive and changes and um, yeah I never really feel particularly attached to an object that I've created. It's yeah, much more about that particular time and place, almost in the same way you might experience a dance or a performance piece. Um, it is very temporary. And also I think often it's quite important the history of the material itself and you know the fact that it has come from the ground and these sort of prehistoric references come in a lot often in other installations. I mean, I think specifically with this piece, I was very interested in the idea of excess and collapse. And I suppose the visual references are towards this historic still life painting and decorative arts, but um, my thinking to do with that sense of collapse was very much about the current situation and, you know, the kind of global economic situation. And I don't know, I think this kind of living in a state of fragility and collapse seems yeah, something I'm very aware of at this particular time. Thank you.